Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll talk about some facts of the blood pressure for the ones who seek the actual practice of uh, measuring the blood pressure. There are links in the description for YouTube videos that are made for this purpose. The blood pressure is a pressure which is generated through the heart pumping the blood. The blood is a viscous liquid tissue which moves smoothly through all the blood vessels. But in the tiny microscopic blood capillaries it needs pressure and in the far venules it needs pressure to pass through these. So when the heart bumps the blood it generates a type of pressure which uh, forces the blood to move along the wall body uh, vessels, blood vessels. The maximum blood pressure it can be uh, measured in the pulmonary artery and the aorta because when the heart bumps the blood the blood moves through these arteries which transfer the blood from the heart to the other body organs so at the point of contact with the pulmonary artery and the aorta the maximum blood pressure can be uh, measured while the minimum blood pressure can be measured as the vena cava and the pulmonary vein. Because as the heart bumps the blood with a great force, when it can complete its uh, circulation and returns back to the heart, it loses this force gradually until it reaches its minimum at the point of contact with the vena cava and the pulmonary vein. The uh, heart or the blood pressure has a normal level which is referred to as 120 over 80 millimeter Hg. What does this mean is 120 number first the number of 120 refers to something called the systolic reading or measure the systolic is when the heart contracts when the heart contracts the maximum blood pressure is achieved so the uh, blood pressure at this time is 120 millimeter Hg and this is for the young this is a normal blood pressure for the youth. So, this is called the systolic reading. 80 is called the diastolic reading. The diastolic is when the heart relax, when the heart muscle relax. The heart pressure is 80 millimeter Hg. Hg is the sample of mercury as the instruments used to measure the blood pressure contain mercury the mechanism of these are that there is a scale like this and there is a tube here this tube contains mercury. Also, the device has a bomb. So, when the uh, one who measures the blood pressure bumps this, the mercury level ascends till it reaches a certain level that he decides and then he releases the bomb. So, the mercury begins to descend. During this, a band or a tourniquet is tied on the arm of the patient in order to um, 
contract and close the blood vessels to detect the place of the blood. So when you release this bone, the mercury level descends and he begins to hear a sound. The systolic sound as the heart contracts. So when the heart muscle contracts, it produces a sound. So he records his first reading when he first hears this sound. When this sound uh, vanishes and he can't hear it, he records his diastolic reading or the second reading as the heart muscle has relaxed. And this is how the blood pressure is measured by the mercury instruments. This instrument is called the Spigo. Momano meter. Spigo Momano meter. Spigo Momano meter. This is a device used to measure the blood pressure. As the age of human increases, his uh, blood pressure may increase, and this should be under medical uh, treatment and people should take care of their blood pressure because it's very important. Away from the heart in the tiny microscopic venules, the blood pressure may reach 10 mm Hg and this is very low and insufficient to let the blood return once more to the heart to be pumped to all the body organs. So. In these venules, as we have mentioned, there are valves to prevent the backflow of the blood. So when these valves here they are open, when they close, They prevent the backflow of the blood. So we can suppose that the direction to the heart like this, it prevents the flow of the blood in the opposite way. This is not allowed because the valves are closed. So what then? There are involuntary muscles which surrounds these venules. When these voluntary muscles or the involuntary muscles contract, they force the blood, so the blood is resting here. They decrease the area of the venule, leading to the uh, flow of the blood in this direction by contracting. And this is how the blood returns back from the venules with this very low blood pressure to the heart once more. So um, this was, um, these were some facts about the blood pressure and the next time we will talk about the blood circulation, we will know how does the blood circulate in our bodies and until then I thank you for watching and see you next time.